Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another reading vlog. This is going to be a historical romance reading vlog. Um, Jessica from Peace Love Books asked me if I wanted to um, be a part of this collab. I think there's a few different creators doing this as well. So super fun. I was already in the middle of a historical, so perfect timing. Um, so I'm really excited to dive back into historicals this year. It was a goal of mine last year and I kind of failed at it. I did okay the first half. I didn't read a ton of them, but I did read some. And then the second half of the year, I don't think I read a single one. So, um, I'm excited to get back into them this year. And when I was like feeling very slumpy during my, like the, the prime of my morning sickness, um, all I wanted to read was an old school historical and I wanted to like physically hold it. So back in like November, I started Nobody's Darling by Teresa Medeiros. I'm literally only 60 pages in. Like I was reading this so slow because I just wasn't in the mood, but I'm very into it. Like I was enjoying the book. I just wasn't in the mood to read. So honestly, it's been a few weeks since I picked this up. So I don't fully remember what is going on, but I know that the prologue is like something about her grandpa. Like her mom passes away and her mom would always like write monthly letters to her dad, the kid's grandparent, grandpa, um, just telling him like what's going on. And, um, and then her mom passes away. So now the heroine, the daughter of her mom, uh, what is her name? Esmeralda. Um, she continues writing the letters to her grandfather, but like really doesn't like him, has never met him, but doesn't like him. Anyway, I don't really know what that has to do with the story yet, but now in the present, she is convinced that Bill, I think his name is Billy, Billy Darling has killed her brother. And so she goes and hunts him down and in this saloon, like tries to arrest him. He doesn't listen. So she pulls a gun on him, but he like is a gunsman, whatever. I don't know what the word is. And so he, of course, like gets away, whatever. She gets arrested because she does end up trying to shoot him. Um, and he comes and gets her from jail and is like, you're coming home with me. So that's like literally all I've read so far. I'm very intrigued. I cannot wait to see where this goes. Um, but yeah, I was feeling a Western, feeling an old school. So hopefully this will live up to be a good one. Um, I don't know what I'm going to read next. I will probably only be able to read two books for this video just because of when it is going up. Um, but I hope to finish that one and then start another one. So yeah, I don't know what the second one will be, but I will let you guys know when I pick one. Um, and I will update you guys later. Hey guys. So sorry, I'm looking rough and I'm updating you from bed. We've been traveling all day with a sick toddler and my husband's sick. It's been, it's been quite the ordeal. It's almost midnight. We just got home, but I finished Nobody's Darling. I don't know if I ever showed you guys the step back and I gave it four stars. It was okay. I was expecting to either be swept away by the romance or the plot because this is a Western. And so I was expecting to be like very drawn into the plot and neither of those really happened for me. I did like the romance. I liked Billy Darling as the hero. Um, he like as much as he wanted her was very respectful of her and like he had opportunity to you know take advantage of her and he didn't um which I was a little nervous about being that it is an older book but he like he didn't and um like the his whole family dynamics were interesting but I don't know the plot was just kind of like so I told you guys she gets is looking for her brother who she thinks is dead gets put into jail because she shoots Billy, who is a gunslinger and is like wanted for murder. So she's assuming he's the guy who killed her brother. So she tr tries to shoot him and then she ends up in jail. He takes her home to his house. And that's basically like where I left off updating you guys. I'm just going to go ahead and tell you the plot of the book. Um, if you don't want to know that, go ahead and skip ahead. But um, so they go and his, all of his brothers are there and he has to like claim her and like t basically tell his brother she's off limits and his brothers are like crazy but you come to love them as the story goes on but anyway they <laughs> there's a whole lot happening I don't even know um she hires Billy to help him find her brother throughout a long ordeal process 
we finally do find her brother and he is alive and is going by the name Bart now instead of Bartholomew um, and is acting as a criminal and or is a criminal and so Billy like actually knows this and finds this out and has no plans to like give him to his sister like he plans to take him in because he's wanted and Billy is actually a like bounty hunter um and so yes but then she ends up being at the bank when her brother shows up and this whole ordeal goes down um her brother runs away Billy ends up getting shot so then she nurses Billy back to health um it's just is a lot and then her grandpa finally comes to save her and he's a duke and so billy ends up lying to her and telling her he doesn't have feelings for her because he's like i like she can never do better than that like i can't give her that kind of life but then he regrets it and so he goes to london and they do this whole like production to win her back somebody's actually been tracking him so then there's like anyway it's it's a whole thing we get like point of views from a couple other people too just like a chapter or like half a chapter which was kind of weird and kind of like confusing and took me out of the story a little bit I don't know it was okay as I'm sitting here talking to you guys I'm like why did I give this book four stars it wasn't bad I enjoyed the reading process and I like I said liked the hero and liked the romance I liked the hero and I liked the romance and it was okay probably like a three and a half star read Anyway, I have since started the Sophie Jordan book. Is it the the Virgin and the Rogue? The I don't know. I'll put the cover on the screen because I was looking for an, a short audiobook. The audiobook's only seven and a half hours, and I owned the audiobook already. I don't think I've ever read anything from this author, and so I wanted to have another book to read for this vlog. I have started it and this is the one where like there's the love potion like her sister accidentally gives her a love potion and it's like an aphrodisiac and she ends up like throwing herself on the duke's stepbrother who is just visiting for a night and he ends up being very into her because of this and now doesn't want to leave um so far it's good but like very physical obviously because like that's the plot of the book so we'll see we'll see how it goes I'll let you guys know what I'm thinking about it but um I'm intrigued to see where it will go hey guys so I need to close out this vlog I have been terrible about updating in between books um so sorry about that things have just been crazy the last few weeks my husband had the flu now my toddler's sick anyway it's been a lot um, I finished The Virgin and the Rogue. I don't know what I'm going to rate it. I think maybe three stars. It just was so based on their physical attraction. I really was left wanting more, um, more romance. I liked the premise. I liked the idea of this love potion in a historical romance. This, you know, I, I thought it was cute. It was creative. Like I said, I don't know that I've ever read a Sophie Jordan. I feel like I've maybe read one of her young adult historicals I don't know if that was her or not but um yeah I don't I, I'm almost positive I haven't read any of her adult historicals and I just I don't know it was fine but it wasn't anything fabulous it doesn't make me want to pick up the rest of her books or the rest of the series and I liked the characters but like I, I definitely wanted more depth from the story and in their romance so yeah that's about all I have to say um I did get through two books for this vlog which I was not sure I was going to be able to but we made it work so um thank you guys so much for watching I am excited to continue reading more historicals this year sorry if you hear noise that's my toddler running around destroying this room um but I'm excited to read more historicals this year and this definitely got me excited to find some good ones um so yeah if you liked this video please give it a thumbs up thank you so much Jess for asking me to be a part of this collab and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.